welcome back to a brand new episode of Passion Beer. We're here at Nick's uh, place today, and he's got a uh, beer that I've never heard of. Yeah, what so, have we got? <laughs> so I got this as a gift. Thank you, Brett and Diana, uh, for uh, sending this my way. It's the Ozzy L from Brewer's Art. Uh, th this one is uh, brewed and bottled in my hometown of uh, Royers Ford, Pennsylvania. Very nice. Uh, Brewer's Art, they're actually based out of uh, Baltimore, Maryland. Okay. So uh, I suspect that it's probably a contract brew done with Sly Fox. Okay. Uh, yeah, when yeah. they were uh, based out Before of uh, Royers uh, Ford yeah. and uh, moved down the street to uh, Pottstown. Right. So, uh, so this one's a Belgian strong pale ale. Belgian strong pale ale, and from what I know, it's been compared to like Duvel and stuff like that. Uh, right. A lot of the double Lucifer, strong. Yeah. yeah. Yep. Whoa, that one just pops right off. Oh, that's a short cork too. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying not to get that much head. No, no, that's all right. I mean, holy moly. For uh, for the style, I mean, absolutely crystal clear. I mean, tons. Of, hey, look, honestly, if the head would dissipate a lot quicker, it'd look like a champagne right now. Uh, let me be as bold to say as uh, it's filtered. <laughs> <laughs> Extremely filtered. Yeah, I mean, crystal, tons of tons of bubbles coming up. Really big pillowy head. You know, you know what? You get that belgian -y yeast oh, yeah. right on that nose, yep. and it's like right on for the style for being a Belgian strong golden now. So I mean, yeah, some some little like a peppery character, very very subtle. I though. mean, there there's definitely a little fruitiness to it as Fruit, well. Yeah, certainly so, some I mean, some like citrus fruit. Yeah, nice. Really I think nice it might sound. be the way that the light's hitting yours versus mine because mine looks a little bit darker. But yeah, I I'm thinking the opposite for me. So I okay. think it is the light. Yeah. All right. But now smells really good. Let's All dive right. in. Cheers. Yeah. Damn. I like that. That's what I gotta say. Damn. <laughs> No, that is delicious. Yeah, I like that a lot. Yeah. That's a really good, I mean, heavy emphasis on the style, but th that is almost, uh, wow, that is like a home run. It has a little bit more malt character than I was expecting, which I actually really, really like. I mean, there's a good amount of these pale malts in there, and I think the yeast just goes really, really well with that. Nice, nice bubbly effervescence in there. I mean, oh, it's damn good. It's got to be this yeast strain yeah. that they use because this is this is awesome. I mean, this, this is exactly what I think of when I think Belgian now. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's really nice. Really slick. Very almost kind of oily uh, on the palate. I mean, the flavors are really, really good, though. Kind of really bready. A little bit of light citrus and pepper in there. Yeah, I, mean, the yeast I, I, is... I, de I definitely get a lot of that light yeah. citrus and peppery taste. Uh, I just had a look at the bottle real quick, and uh, we're, we're clocking in at 7.3 ABV here. Okay. So, I mean, it... Definitely right on par with the style. Yeah. Um, so. Yeah, I mean, this is definitely a surprise for one that I've never. Pretty damn yeah, easy drink. Yeah. Um, and obviously, since uh, we don't really get brewers art beers here in uh, in the Philadelphia area, I mean, I've never seen anything from these guys before. I don't know. If I you haven't have. found. I haven't found any so, of this. So I mean, yeah, nice treat for someone to bring you. Uh, yeah. You know, one of these beers. But even though it was bottled here, we still don't <laughs> see it here. Go figure. Had to go to Maryland to bring it back to Pennsylvania. Thank you, so. Pennsylvania. Yeah. So. <laughs> no, I mean, really good beer. What, what are you thinking as far as uh, uh, rating you, goes? You know what? Um, heavy emphasis on the style. I, I'm going to have to give this a solid 94. Um, I'm trying to. I'm having a hard time <laughs> Find something finding wrong. something wrong with this. Yeah. But for me, I mean, I was I was right a step below you. Yeah, Ninety three for me on this one. Okay. Um, I mean, I really like it. I like the bready malty qualities, and then this yeast and the peppery and the slight citrus. I mean, it's really damn good for the style. The Belgian strong pale ale. Always a style I like to try. Nothing really ever kind of blows me away with that style. But I mean, this is really damn good. It really is. I, I I'm, it's I'm, how it should be. I have a hard time finding something to fault it with. Um, like you said, oh, you gotta than, find something. Other than the carbonate, I mean, other than like the the carbonation making it a little full. But I mean, that's it's it's to the style. It, it really no, is. No, absolutely. Um, but yeah, damn good beer. Thanks for sharing. Yeah, it. Really. not a problem. <laughs> hey, and thanks for uh, joining in another episode of Passion Beer in the Book. So uh, yeah. we'll see you next time. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers.